Well, I remember it just a little bit. Squaw Valley has such a great uh, history of being associated with ski racing. Obviously, the Olympics, 1960, and then the World Cup race in 1969. Well, first of all, it was the 1960s. Who can remember anything about the 1960s? They say that if you can remember the 1960s, you weren't really there. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It just so happens that upon hearing of the prospect of us hosting the World Cup, Billy Kidd called me up and said, well gosh, that was one of the World Cups I remember, I won it. And so I just barely remember, but it was memorable because I won the slalom race here at the World Cup, 1969. <laughs> that was quite an event, and 1969 was one of those historic uh, Squaw Valley winners. I think we got nine feet of snow over uh, three days. There was too much snow to have a downhill, so it got snowed out, and it closed the lifts. They had to shovel the lifts out, and so they let just us World Cup racers go up and ski on KT-22, so we were all in heaven. You know, I think the racers had more fun powder skiing than they did racing. Back in 1969 when we had the, had the races here, I was one of the youngsters on the team and I was with uh, guys like uh, Billy Kidd and Spider Savage and I was racing pretty far back. So I got to race in the ruts and in the holes. There's a great tradition here. And I think by getting the World Cup back to Squaw Valley in 2017, it's going to rekindle that interest. I'm proud to say and thrilled to let everybody know that we've been selected as an Alpine World Cup site for March of 2017. Being able to finally bring that racing home and reignite the passion for World Cup ski racing is really awesome. I'm really excited to have the World Cup at Squaw. I grew up racing and training early morning on Red Dog and it is one of the most difficult hills and it's definitely world class. We're proud not only to host the best skiers in the world, including Michaela Schifrin, who's a very dear friend of ours, but also our very own Julie Mancuso. Just growing up in Squaw Valley, I didn't want to be a part of the Olympics because of the Olympics. I wanted to be a part of the Olympics because that was our hometown, our legacy, and the community. Skiing, especially, was in our blood living in the valley, so to be able to show the kids, you know, the Olympic legacy is not over. It will continue, and we'll just keep producing those amazing ski racers and skiers, and the passion is alive here in Squaw Valley. Those young kids are going to be influenced and given so much more confidence and focus following Julia Mancuso down the hill and Michaela Schifrin. The reason that we're doing this as a mountain and as a community is to inspire the next generation of ski racers. There's nothing like watching a group of young ski racers stand there in a finish corral looking up and truly being inspired by these racers coming down, the best racers in the world, to have Michaela Schifrin, our very own Julia Mancuso, ski through the Finnish Corral at an Alpine World Cup here at Squaw Valley. I'm so excited for that moment. I can't wait to see the racers, how they respond to our mountain, and also the local community coming out and watching those best racers. It's gonna be a great event.